Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I'll show you how to use the latest version of Lightroom 5.7 to share your galleries and get feedback from your customers. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelli. I am a French photographer living in the amazing, the incroyable city of Paris, France. And I make not one, but two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to get the raw file of all the past episodes and including goodies and actions. All you have to do is subscribe to my website and you will get all that for free. Or click here if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In last episode, I showed you how to add some rays of light on, on a photo. The whole idea is to make a more dramatic photo. On, it works really great on portrait and landscape. It's a Photoshop a bit more intermediate type of tutorial, but check it out. This week, I'm going to talk to you about the new version of Lightroom that just came out, Lightroom 5.7. And it has a feature I've been hoping to have since a very long time. The ability to create galleries that you can just send in one click on the web and get feedback from your customers. Something very useful. Let me show you how it works. Uh, there is a, a new option that came out with Lightroom 5.7, which I really, really love. And I've been hoping for such an option for a long time because I used to, uh, to be uh, an interior design photographer and, you know, and also do a lot of shootings for my friends. And basically, I wanted a way that I could create like a website really fast, send it to a customer, a friend or to, you know, a wedding or to a company. And... Uh, and basically, like for example, I'm making a book on Paris. I want to be able to send all my photos to my editor and he writes a comment on every single photo so I know which one he wants me to have more contrast, which one he doesn't want, which one he really likes, etc., etc., etc. And so the way to do that now is uh, I'm going to take this as an example. For example, let's take my landscape photos. Okay, let's say I want to send this to an editor or a magazine for review. This is some of my best landscape work for me. So right now it's just in a regular folder. Now what's new about this, I'm gonna press Command A to select everything, and then I'm gonna create a collection out of it. So I'm gonna to go to collection, and I'm gonna call create collection. I'm gonna call this landscapes, landscapes. And I'm gonna, so you have first to use the option sync with Lightroom Mobile. Uh, that's very important. You, uh, so I'm gonna cl click on create, and what I did before, is uh, here, you see on the Lightroom mobiles, uh, when you open your Lightroom, you have to click and put in your Creative Cloud member login and password. This way, this library is gonna think with the Lightroom mobile and it also has this new option. We don't need an iPad or Lightroom mobile to do this, but you just need to have logged in here with your login and password for this option to work. So now we have a collection which is here, okay? We have a full collection and um, it's got 42 photos and I'm gonna click here on share and that's the new option here, up right here, share. As soon as you click on that, it's gonna generate a new URL. It's gonna create basically a web gallery using Adobe servers and here is the, the link here. I can just click to open the link in the browser and this is what I can send. Now I can just send that link to anyone. Uh, I can probably just uh, even right click and copy to clipboard to copy that link. Now, you know, the photos needs to uh, go to the Adobe uh, server and, you know, get synced. So it's gonna take, a, you know, maybe a minute or two for the website to be created. So I'm gonna put this on post for a minute. All right, so that's the gallery that's loaded now. And uh, so it's really cool because it's also a new web gallery. So I can just give that link to anyone and it's public and he can look at it and I can, uh, you know, I, he can click on the photos, for example, and uh, let's say that he likes this one, so he can like this one. So there is a like on this one, and then, you know, you just go through, and then uh, blah, 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 and then, okay, this one is, okay, for example, uh, you know, I would like to see this one in black and white, for example. Okay, so he can also leave a comment I can get the feedback on it and you know and we just continue like this and uh, and you know just watching over the photos and saying oh I really like this one for example put a little heart on it and he can also click here and, and uh, play it as a portfolio there's a little play button 
that's going to play it as a portfolio, you know, with nice transitions. I mean, this is really cool. That option is really cool. But now if I go back into uh, my Lightroom here, uh, I can see here, you can see there's a li little yellow tag here. If I click on it, uh, it says review comment. So I can click on review comment and what it's going to do, it's going to sort out the, uh, the library per comment. So for example, this one, it says here that there is a new window here called comment. It says here that there is a like. So we have a like here. And then on this one, uh, we have a light and one comment. I would like to see this one in black and white, etc. You get the idea. The only problem with this is that you, um, once I've reviewed the comment, uh, the, it's, it's not that the comment is lost, but that, that yellow option is off. And if I come back like the next day, I have to go through every photo to see if there was a like or a comment on it. Like there's no way to filter it by comments or like. So what I what I would suggest you to do, because by def, by default it is sorted out by comments, you could, for example, just take a system of like, okay, these first five photos were liked or comment. I can just right click and, and you know, uh, mark them as, um, for example, set a flag you know, or color label them as blue you know, whatever system you want, or give them a three star. So this way, you know, the blue photos in that collection were the one that were commented or were liked. Okay. However, this also thinks with the Lightroom mobile on the Lightroom mobile, you can see and you can sort by comments. Let me show you this. All right. So here I am on my iPad. So I have got the same collections, which is the landscape 42 photos. So I'm going to click on the collection so they appear. And uh, now the thing is, you see here, there's a little drop down menu. If I go drop down here, I can see all the ones which are like, and it's going to sort them out by the one which were like, which is basically these two. And I can also sort by comments. I really love this option of having, you know, my, some of my uh, collections on my iPad. Can I just show my work and having sync? But anyways, this ability to create a website and just share it and get feedback, I think is amazing. Would have been a life changer for me a couple of years back. And it is a life changer to me. I think this is something I'm going to be using a lot because I don't have to worry about creating a gallery. I don't have to worry about anything. You know, I just, I have my uh, uh, show all. I have, you know, my gallery. I send it to the customer. He puts his comments and likes on all the photos and I just get it straight back into Lightroom. Awesome, awesome feature. All right, so just to finish up, I just want to show you a little trailer that I did with uh, my buddy Jean-Michel Bertz on my latest course called Artistic Still Life Photography. It's a really cool course. It's probably one of the courses with Jean-Michel Bertz where I learned the most about Photoshop. This guy has been doing very, very well-paid advertisement for over 30 years. He's got more than eight books out. His work is out in more than 12 galleries around the world and selling for lots of money. So check it out, Artistic Still Life Photography. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Today I'm happy to announce that I have a new course coming out with my buddy Jean-Michel Bertz called Artistic Commercial Photography. What it is, is we're gonna shoot two scenes using just one light and very simple, very cheap gear. First, we're gonna go for a little Dutch painting with fruits and make it really look like one of these old, nice Dutch painting where they had an amazing lighting on it. That's the before and that's the after. Then we are going to do some flowers, but some really nice flowers and create the background, create the illusion that the flowers were there. It's a complete composite in Photoshop. Here is the before shot and this is the final result. It is one of the courses where I learned the most Photoshop tricks. So really check it out, artistic commercial photography. Wow.